Unit 5. Food. Recording 1. Countable singular nouns. A banana. An apple. A pear. Countable plural nouns. Potatoes. Eggs. Strawberries. Peppers. Uncountable nouns. Cheese. Butter. Garlic. Milk. Chicken. Salmon. Broccoli. Fruit juice. Unit 5. Recording 2. I travel around the world and I usually stay with friends, not in hotels. I always take photos of my friends and last year I started taking photos of their fridges too. It's amazing what a fridge can tell you about a person. Look at this picture. You can see right away it's a single person probably lives alone. There isn't much food in this fridge and maybe he doesn't like cooking. There's some takeaway food here, Chinese takeaway. There's not a lot of food, but he's got some broccoli, some peppers and an apple up here. Oh, and some garlic. I know he's a big meat eater. Let's see. Has he got any meat? Okay, in this photo he hasn't got any meat, but I know he likes meat. Look at all these vegetables and fruit. I mean, he tries to be healthy. And I know him well. His name's Vinny, and he lives in New York City. He's single, a businessman, a quiet, serious guy. He buys fruit and vegetables, but he doesn't often cook. He often has takeaway food or goes out to restaurants. Look at this one. All this food. They've got some fish here, some chicken, a roast chicken, ready to eat. And there's a big pasta salad and some really nice cheese. They've got all this water because they do a lot of exercise, and they like having water with them when they go running or play tennis. You can see they try to be very healthy. Just look at all that fresh food. But the main thing is, all this food is ready to cook. That tells me that these people are friendly. They like having friends for dinner. And it's true, Mike and Liz are really friendly. And I love staying with them because they're funny and intelligent and there are always lots of people around in their apartment. I stay with them every time I go to Lisbon. Unit 5. Recording 3. He's got some broccoli, some peppers and an apple. Has he got any milk? He hasn't got any milk. Unit 5. Recording 4. Four and a half. Seven. Twenty-one. Sixty-one. Nine hundred and eighty. 1,200 4,010 4,300 35,000 60,000 Unit 5 Recording 5 
How much food does an average person eat in a lifetime? And how much do they drink? The answer is a lot. Do you eat meat? Meat eaters in Europe eat 21 sheep, 1,200 chickens, and four and a half cows in their lifetime. Or do you prefer fish? Japanese people eat about 69 kilos a year. That's an amazing 4,830 kilos in a lifetime. If you're a vegetarian, do you like beans? On average, Brazilians eat about 4,010 kilos of beans in their lives. Beans are popular all around the world, from Latin America to Asia. Why is weight a problem for so many people? The average American has about 4,500 kilos of sugar a year, often as part of food and drink. Soft drinks have an average of seven spoonfuls of sugar in a can or bottle. And how many cookies do Americans eat in their lifetime? Over 35,000! How much water, tea and coffee do people drink? An average person drinks about 60,000 litres of water in their lifetime. People in the UK drink about 980 cups of tea a year. And the top coffee drinkers in the world are from Finland. They use 13 kilos of coffee beans a year. Maybe it isn't surprising that people use 61 rolls of toilet paper a year. That's about 4,300 in their lifetime. Unit 5. Recording 6. Good evening. A table for two? Yes, please. By the window? That's fine. Can I take your coats? Thank you. Would you like something to drink? Uh, yes, please. Could I have an orange juice, please? And I'd like a cola, please. And uh, can we have a bottle of mineral water, please? Certainly. The menu? Thank you. Tonight's special is chicken à la chef de Saint-Germain de Paris Rive Gauche. What's that? It's grilled chicken with potatoes and green beans. Is it French? Not really. But it has a French name. Well, that's true. It's very good. Are you ready to order? Yes. I'd like some soup and the special. The same for me, please. Thank you. Unit 5. Recording 7. 1. Could I have an orange juice, please? 2. Can we have a bottle of mineral water, please? 3. I'd like some soup, please. 4. The same for me, please. Unit 5. Recording 8. 1. Could I have an orange juice, please? 2. Could I have an orange juice, please? 3. Can we have a bottle of mineral water, please? 4. Can we have a bottle of mineral water, please? 5. I'd like some soup, please. 6. I'd like some soup, please. 7. The same for me, please. 8. The same for me, please. Unit 5. Recording 9. Could I have an orange juice, please? Unit 5. Recording 10. 
Afternoon, what can I get you? Uh, the jackpot special, please. Is that eat in or take away? Take away. Large fries with that? No, medium. Something to drink? Uh, cola. Small, medium or large? Small. Anything else? No, thanks. That'll be nine ninety-five. Okay. Unit 5. Recording 11. 1. Afternoon. What can I get you? Afternoon. What can I get you? 2. Small, medium or large? Small, medium or large? 3. Is that eat in or take away? Is that eat in or take away? 4. Anything else? Anything else? 5. Thanks. Have a nice day. Thanks. Have a nice day. Unit 5. Recording 12. One of my favorite dishes is American pancakes. I like them because they're easy to make and not too sweet. Americans often eat pancakes for breakfast, but I like eating them at any time, hot or cold. So you need some flour, some sugar, and a bit of salt, some baking powder, a cup of milk, an egg, and a little oil. Mix together the milk, egg, and oil in a big bowl. Then add the flour, sugar, and salt. Stir everything together. After that, you put a little oil in a frying pan and heat it, but not too hot. Put some of the pancake mix into the pan. After about one minute, Turn the pancake over and then wait about two minutes. Take it out and make some more. Pancakes are really good with butter and honey or with lemon and sugar. But some people like them plain with nothing on them.